Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your reading for the second half of January. I'm excited to have you guys with me. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Miss Seedy with Miss Seedy's Tarot. If you're returning, guys, thank you so much for all the support, all the likes, comments, subscriptions. And don't forget, of course, I'd love to hear where you're watching from. And if we are resonating and this connects with you, then please like it. Let me know that we're connecting. And of course, please share in the comments how it's relating to your situation and where you're watching from. Um, I love to use a lot of Oracle cards in my readings so they give me a greater understanding of the message. Of course, these are general, so I'm trying to connect with more of you as possible. So if it resonates, awesome take it. If it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. It's totally cool. We're here together enjoying this experience. So please feel free to just take what resonates, leave the rest. And however it relates to your situation, of course, energy flows. This is past, present, future situations. I use the lovers oracles, the unicorn oracles, the romance angels, the universe has your back, gilded tarot and Archangel Michael to give you the most beautiful reading possible. We're going to get right into your reading today. You got two unicorn cards. So I'm just going to go over them quickly as possible. The first one is intention, <laughs> all right, intention. Be clear and decisive, focus on what you really want and be bold with your requests to the universe. So again, this has to be a little bit more specific. Perhaps you've been thinking of things and you've just been very general or you're also, you know, this is asking you to be more, <sighs> more in tune with what you want. Like your intention needs to be more clear. I feel like because it's a bit muddled or because you're not being so specific, the universe is trying to bring you something, but it, you don't even know what you want, right? So I think the the typical Gemini, Gemini situation is of course like, I want something, but I don't know what I want, but I know I don't want this. So I feel like it's asking you to be specific. And if being specific isn't the best thing, then try to be a bit more general in exactly like, I want someone who loves me. I want someone who is there for me as opposed to I want this person because you're going to get that person but they don't do all those x y and z things that you want them to do so be very specific and intentive if it's about a job opportunity like I want a job in in data management so you know that way you know you're not going to be working in a job to do with other stuff you're going to be working with numbers for example whatever however this relates to your situation maybe bad examples however be a little bit more clear and again specific about what you want and put it out there and don't be shy to ask and be bold be bold be very big with your request the next one is flow okay very very contradicting a little bit but this makes sense here so flow is about find an easier path forward okay surrender the outcome all right i love i see how they're connecting release your expectations okay so this is about being specific about the outcome you wish in the sense of what is your end game goal? What, what are the things that you would like? Going with the flow is about surrendering to the way that the universe will bring it to you. So you have a specific thing that you want, whether it's a person, whether it's a connection, whether it's an opportunity, whatever you're waiting for to come into you, the universe is asking you, the unicorns are asking you to be specific about it, be intentive on your intention, and then also release the how, the when, the why. Allow things to unfold because we don't always see what's going on on the other side, all the stuff that's happening around us. So going with the flow is very important because some of you could be forcing that outcome now and it's not the right time or you're wanting something right now but it's not going to happen like that and you could be going against the current and the currents are stronger than us because they have other plans we're kind of just needing to find our way so gemini this is asking you to find an easier path release your expectation on specifically how you see it possibly how you see it right now is not how it's going to come to you so it's about opening up to how the universe wants to bring it and uh, release your expectations and surrender the outcome put it out there let it be and let the powers bring it towards you beautiful energy though Whew. okay so that was for some of you sorry guys a little heavy start here now we're gonna go to the lovers oracles we have a couple sexual union <laughs> honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss so again for some of you you might want something specific but this is about bringing you together this is just allowing this union to come towards you having this beautiful deep sexual connection with someone let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives so you just might have to give in to the flow of the relationship allow things to just on their own develop grow you know water flows where it wants to so sometimes you know 
You just have to allow this, this path to unfold in front of you or potentially both of you because as I'm saying that, we have soulmate. Your soulmate is ready, is already with you in spirit. I'm sorry, your soul, so maybe your soulmate is ready, guys. Who knows, that slipped out. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically, okay? So again, putting out your intention, being specific about the type of connection you want. We have sexual union, we have soulmate. So some of you are definitely coming together with your soul but that could mean a lot of things because you have to unify your lives now it's a it's a very powerful phase Gemini's I love this energy deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right allow this beginning the butterflies to me is always like having gone through that whole transformation and now you're about to emerge into this beautiful place so you've gone with the flow you've allowed the ethers to be at work you've respected the universe and this is coming towards you. Romance angels, here we go. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So for many of you, this requires a lot of healing, you know, healing other connections that are close to your home, with your family, um, coming into this peaceful energy where you're forgiving, of course, too. There's just a lot of stuff that have to be addressed, but the angels are with you to protect you through this. And as you do this, you benefit in all aspects of your life. And that could be kind of why things are being held back because you were this person and have to heal that um, passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy i'd be singing with joy we got sexual union and soulmate and passion it's gonna be a good time gemini's <laughs> enjoy with that go with that flow okay because that is leading you to some beautiful places now we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so be present the more fun you're having in the now because you're just enjoying like where's life taking you where are you right now indulge in it love it stop and smell the roses be a part participate in the current environment enjoy things, release things, learn things. If there's a delay, there's something you still have to work through. If there's things coming to you quickly, that means you did the steps for them to come towards you. So be ready to receive that, okay? And then we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So they could be different culture, different background, different size, you know, whatever your typical type is sometimes could be the exact reason why things haven't been working out for you and why your intention might have to be a bit more specific but if you're being intentive on what you want you are also being asked here to be open-minded because I feel like the person could be very different the person that is going to check off all those things on your list you need an open mind because they're going to be so different from what you know but when they come in it's going to be like whoa I've been waiting my whole life for you and your thing is to get over whatever that differences may be that aren't going to be how you saw them okay but you're going to have this passion so you're going to have this chemistry with them you're going to be pulled magnetically you have this bond this connection towards them and your attraction what you're doing is you're also attracting them to you because you're just going with the flow all right the universe has your back message says when i accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. So for many of you, this could be the universe just letting you know you got a little off track. You could have been dealing with some really difficult family stuff too because the healing is here. So I feel like there could have been a bit of a darkness or, you know, your intentions were not clear. You're a little indecisive. So you're kind of getting things that you're like, what, what is going on? But the universe brings you things based on where you are on a vibrational level. So for some of you, your vibration isn't in the flow of what where it needs to be or you're not flowing freely and this is when it's asking you to flow and guide back to the light so that you're back on the path you could be trying to make things happen or trying to force things that aren't going to happen the way it is right now the universe has better plans and you just have to have that trust in the divine plan to follow the path you're being guided to that was deep, <laughs> intuitive on point today. <laughs> However, that relates to your situation. Um, yeah, okay, you've not got a little bit of stuff going on. We're starting right now with the seven of cups, a little bit of illusion, a little bit of confusion. You know, you might just, I want a cup, I want a cup, but, but which cup? <laughs> you know, you're a little indecisive. It happens, I know Gemini's, you sometimes can't make up your minds, it's okay, but there are gonna be a lot of options around you. This could be other people, this could be uh, love offers, or these could be things that are trying to pull on where you need to be, and I feel like for some of you, um, 
I'm also sensing because you have such a specific thing in mind of how and where you want things to go, just because of intention and flow being on the table, I'm going to say this for a few of you, it is here kind of like, be careful what you're picking because I feel like you're going to pick the wrong cup. If you're trying to rush something or you're trying to force something out of time or out of sequence with the flow, then you're going to be picking the wrong cup and that's going to be not good because we have seven cups, but two of them are bad. Two of them are, you know, karmic or two of them have like very, they're not positive cards in the sense that you could be choosing a path that you're not going to enjoy by not doing what you're supposed to right now, if that makes sense. So be in tune with yourself, be in tune with your guides, listen to the messages that the universe is trying to push you pull you and direct you if you're being delayed there's a reason if you're being rushed in a new direction there is a reason everything happens around you for a specific reason so I feel like be really careful because you need to see this you see this clearly and again being guided back to the light I feel like whatever little you know confusion or illusion that you have or you're just not seeing things clearly you could be overwhelmed by a lot of stuff and a lot of situations around you moving on the magician Ooh, you guys got the power okay so the universe is asking you to be specific as f right now because you have all the tools you need to get everything that you want and I feel like for many of you, you have all this stuff around you and that might not be what you want. You want something very specific. So the magician is here to remind you, Gemini energy, Virgo energy, of course, with this water energy here. So Pisces, Scorpio or a... Uh, uh, Scorp Scorpio or Cancer, sorry, <laughs> get everybody covered. Now, this energy here, you have all the tools. You have the pentacle, you have the wand, the cup, the the, the sword. You, you know every tool you have and you possess this. So this is already asking you that you just need to be specific. Allow us to do everything, Gemini. So tell them what you want, put it out there, and then please step back and let your magic get to work because everything is trying to work here with you. You have this beautiful ability and the reason why is the Wheel of Fortune. This is turning in your favor. So the wheel is going to be here to change all of that. All those things that weren't working out, all those things that you're confused or unclear. I feel like once the magician knows what he wants and he sets his sights on it, which you will, because I know you're gonna do you're gonna do what feels right you're attracting this right now your soulmate your sexual union whatever this is about all these cups you know all this different energy around you you're being very specific and very focused on exactly what you want in the moment you've decided Gemini's you made the decision and the flow is gonna flow freely into this abundance with the 10 here as well this is completion so you completed all that you've gone through this you've been very specific now and it's gonna flow towards you the wheel of fortune is spinning in your favor my darlings yes the blessings are coming queen of wands you could definitely be de dealing with the fire sign leo sagittarius or aries but you are as, are as attractive and desirable as possible this could be how they view you. They see you as someone who's very hardworking, very passionate, very fiery, very, very magnetically attracted to you. Like you are hot as F, Gemini. I know, you just take that. I'm just gonna rain it on you. But you guys are looking sexy. You're putting in that work. You're going to the gym. You're eating healthy. And it's showing. Like you are really, really, this person just sees you and they're just like, like I can feel it, right? We have sexual union here too. So there is a very strong desire to to be with you, to be together, of course, soulmate, passion. Whew. Yeah, if you're dealing with a fire sign, they're on fire for you. <laughs> um, vice versa, you could just have a very strong, passionate connection. This could be you or them, however you see them, of course, this way as well. So I feel like for many of you, um, you know, you could have other options around you, but you specifically, you only want that person. Now, that does work out sometimes, it might not, but again, this person that you have this attraction to, you know, you could have like this with the open mind here, you could be so drawn to someone and you're like, why am I being attracted to them? Why is my body reacting like this to you, you know? And that could be why you have to have that open mind because you're 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 having to listen to what your body is guiding you to, to what your senses are guiding you to, to where the flow of your energy when you hit this person and they hit you, all of a sudden it's like, whoa, <laughs> hi. <laughs> so Gemini's guys, have fun with this. This is a beautiful energy. Let's see what's going on. The chariot, seven. Okay. Okay, so you're coming out of difficulties, right? You're coming out of that illusion, that confusion, that place where um, we didn't know where this was going and this is moving forward. So this is 
progressing into triumph you know you've gone into the flow now you're just allowing this chariot to scoop you up the wheel of fortune being here spinning in your favor could be moving you towards this person could be taking some of you away from this person depending on the situation if you're still healing stuff and you're doing all this work on the side that it's asking you to do so that you're allowing this love to grow and give and move forward right you're you're using all your tools to have this progression and you're you're just jumping on this chariot into a whole new beginning possibly with the fire sign for others of you this jumped off the table because you're moving towards a wish come true so again be specific with your intention because the universe is trying to bring it to you but you've been working on this gemini and the harder you've been working on it to pull this together you allow you you put together your formula of what you want and then you released it to the universe and because you have that faith in the universe the wheel of fortune is going to bring this towards you so what is it bringing for you a wish fulfillment so even though you had all this stuff around you you're like but no i want something specific like thank you thank you universe for all this stuff but i guess i wasn't clear enough because what i really want is this and it's coming towards you whatever this wish is that you've been wanting this emotional fulfillment this love this happiness it's gonna bring you so much joy because you endured you endured through all that confusion and under that you have the queen of pentacles so you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign now we have a uh, virgo taurus or capricorn that you could be connecting with or again the magician being here you know you could be someone who is so grounded and stable and secure you get what you want you work hard you're serious it's long-term commitment even the queen energy is someone very compassionate very loving caring with the earth energy she grows everything like whatever is around you you have the right tools but you don't just have the tools to bring it to existence or to bring it in front of you you have the tools to maintain it to grow it to expand it this is with your financial abundance too you could be you could whether you're manifesting this or calling this in or using the right sequence that you now learn gemini you're using the right tools to bring this beautiful connection now this person could be someone that's in the spotlight and someone you know you could also be reaching some kind of fame too because the peacock to me with all the eyes there's a lot of eyes on you um people could be watching you you know people could be enjoying your progress and for others of you too there could be a lot of people with their attention on this person okay again earth energy here so this queen is very secure very stable very confident very like self the very independent on top of that like they can take care of themselves they don't need nobody else she's got her pentacle she's okay he or she however it applies but you could be wanting to offer your pentacle to this person or them to you if you are in that kind of connection but you could just be pulling this oh it's beautiful the death card under the wheel of fortune yeah so something really had to change gemini you had to go through some kind of transformation period perhaps that was when you chose something that wasn't right or when you learned that even though all this stuff is in front of you you don't have to take from that cup why do i have to take from these cups i don't want those cups i want this cup and then you're the one who brings that in towards you and the moment that you did that the universe was like okay gemini I see you. I'm proud of you for literally making this choice and being specific and guiding your path and, and, and really having this connection. And the moment you did, you get the Scorpio energy with the death card where something had to end. That old way had to stop. Whatever it was, you had to end that for this new beginning to happen. And the new beginning is happening because you're not resisting the flow anymore, right? You're not fighting the current. You're just jumping on these unicorns and flowing in the river with them. And wherever they're leading you, you're knowing that you're being guided to somewhere. And it's asking you to have fun along the way, right? Like this attraction here, like wherever it's taking you, some of you really need to change the way you're doing things a little bit because I feel like the wheel of fortune here is spinning for you, but it's wanting you to really enjoy these moments be present have that passion the more fun you're having the more you're enjoying yourself the more you're actually attracting to you and I feel like because you kind of took that energy where you stood up for yourself you know what you want you've always been very strong in your in your passion and, and all your desires that it's kind of like the universe is seeing that and it's proud of you I'm going to tell you Gemini's the universe is very proud of you because you've had the strength to endure this and there's been things that have happened that that really transformed you and you've you've blossomed from that i think one of these had the butterfly yes the butterfly you had the strength deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right go with the flow follow your guides follow where you're being led to for some of you you're being led to this connection with this person again with the fire energy here this is about leo 
but the strength card. So you could definitely be connecting with the Leo or Sagittarius or Aries, but this energy is about taming that beast, taming your desires, taming your passions. And if it is about this love connection, then you have tamed the lion, my darlings, because she's got the chain around his neck, this beautiful maiden, and they're going in the same direction. So I feel like whatever might have not been happening, oh yeah, the direction of the flow, the direction of love, you're literally being guided into this beautiful connection. And for many of you, that is your wish come true. Oh, I'm so excited, Gemini's. Yep, because you're coming out of this. There was a point in time where yes, you might have made a poor judgment or maybe you were forcing things and because it wasn't the right timing, because of course don't, we have two cards that signify this so with the Wheel of Fortune, spinning at a specific time when the when the when the circumstances are correct it starts going in the flow of this then we have the chariot running through just full speed ahead towards your destiny and for some of you there were some obstacles there was some pain there was some heartbreak again with the three of cups this is sorry this is five of cups energy but the three cups here at the bottom spilt this is someone crying over spilt milk so there was things that didn't work out in the past and they were hard and they were sad then i really hope that you're able to learn from that again healing family issues here so there could have been like a loss there could have been something here with the emotional part that caused you pain um Maybe you had very bad connections before where there was third parties and, and you know, now you're understanding that your happiness is important to you, but you're processing, you're growing, you're evolving with this beautiful Scorpio energy. And again, the butterflies to me is always an evolution process coming out of that darkness into the light, but as a whole new, beautiful, beautiful you. And for many of you, again, I'm just showing you, but there's the two of cups behind him. So that love, this sexual union, that soulmate, that is where you're being taken to. So wipe those tears away if you have a few left. Thank the blessings for all those that have left because now you're going forward. And for many of you, you're going into this hermit energy again. The sadness could have put you into that reflective state for you to really reflect on that. And I feel like that's why you've been needing to be specific with your intention, specific on your path. Again, destiny takes you to your path and the hermit's journey is always to find out where they're going, right? So for many of you, you've been doing this reflection, you've been doing this focus, you're learning from your mistakes, you're healing, all that stuff that you went through with the hermit energy because you've had the strength to endure this. You've overcome that pain and you're ready to move forward into a beautiful, bright future. Wow. <laughs> Okay, breathe. And now we're going to do the Archangel Michael, guys. Wow, what an amazing reading. You guys are going right into all your wishes coming true. You're in full control of your life. You're attracting this amazing energy. Oh, Gemini's, this is a beautiful reading. And my hands itchy. You guys could be getting some money. Money. Wow. Wow, okay. Archangel Michael is read in prayer form. Please read it however it relates to your religion. No disrespect, of course. Here we have, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Please help me clearly hear, see, and feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. So please reconnect with your divine. However, this is through prayer, through meditation, through personal time, through spending time in nature, through connecting with your unicorns, your mermaids, your fairies, whatever you believe in, the more magic you believe in, the more magic comes into your life, right? You guys are the magician. There we go. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. Yes, so if you're wondering if this person is your soulmate, yes. Are you gonna have a beautiful sexual union? Gemini's, yes, very much. <laughs> okay, thank you for helping me to have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. Right? Trustworthy people. So attract this. You're attracting this because you're, you're having this beautiful connection. Your home is protected by angels, okay? Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask you to post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgages, and taxes. Absolutely. Beautiful, safe, stable, secure home, Geminis. This is an amazing reading. I am so happy for you guys. Congratulations on this beautiful time that you have been able to pull in all this magic towards you. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye.